Okay, so what I'm trying to figure out right now is the firewall on just how far back I want to take it. I need to cut a bunch of it out to be able to rebuild it, but I need to decide just how close I want the firewall to the back of the motor. We've got the mount the, for the head, whatever, to lift the engine block, but I need to cut some of this out and rebuild across there. The problem I'm running into right now is this problem right here. So the fuel line and the fuel filter, it is, it's got the fuel line off the fuel filter into the head and that one is protruding into the cab. Oh, two inches. Basically the fuel filter housing, I could butt up against it, but then the line out of it, winding up and around won't work. It's sticking out and into the cab. And that's, if it wasn't right at my throttle, right where that needs to be, I could work with it, which is kind of ironic. It's, it's the fuel. Okay, so we're gonna remove this. Get it out of our way. And we can start cutting and building the floor. The rest of the floor. We can get this in permanent, hopefully. But right now, we gotta get this stuff out of the way. Clear up the back of this block. I think we're gonna have to take that plate off there too. Tegan's getting our firewall cleaned up and prepped and ready. I'm preparing to cut what looks like a square to fit back up in that corner over there. This is harder than it looks. It goes down and that way. No. No what? I'm not going to change the blade or going to change the battery. I don't need you to change it. I just want you to get a new one. No. Okay, just make sure you don't drill all the way through the table, okay? I drilled these ones and they're not all the way through, so we should be good. Let's see this. And then I drilled the there's big holes ones. And I decided everywhere. I... Not everywhere. Well, then, then, there's, then there's those ones, like right there. There's no you did those ones. Over there. I did these. You, you're blaming those these. on me. You're blaming them on me, huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, because huh? they have the wood. My fault. Up. Actually, it is. Oh, 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 I gotcha. That was no. The first way one through. all the way through. The bit all in, all the way down in. No, it didn't. Okay, it did go all the way through, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a good thing that, that that table is just a shop table. Once this is cut in place, we'll hold it up in place and mark the firewall, then pull that piece out, cut the bottom piece out. It's just one thing after another. Yeah. Build it, rebuild it, keep modifying it, keep modifying it, keep building it. Mm -hmm. Then build it again and three more times just for fun. Yeah. This flap, that bend, because it's too much of a bend. Is that what I'm seeing? No. How did I screw that up? Oh. See that arch in it? Oh, yeah. That's what's really messing me up. Which means I bent it too far. Looks like I'm trying to make a little frying pan here. We could, we could totally make us a nice big frying pan, but they're cheaper to buy than 
I can buy the metal for. you and then really? yep it is but it's also it's a firewall hey I need the drill too thank you we are putting this piece of firewall in hopefully for the last time and then we're going to start working on the inside piece but I got it backwards this is how it's supposed to go so this ties from the side of the steering column across the whole center and over to where the HVAC is going to be, where the air unit is going to be. Like I just said, yeah. we'll weld them, pull the screws out, and then weld them. A little stinker. And then we'll grind them up and clean them up, and it'll look like they're never there. And then I feel bad for the poor sucker that ever tries to take some of this apart. Because they're not going to be able to. And then they're not going to be able to find the welds. And then they're going to fight it. And it's probably going to be me trying to do it to fix something. So I'm probably that poor sucker. Careful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come straight across on this, all right? It's gonna dive down half an inch on the front, but this front piece, you'll just see it slope down like this. So it'll be, it'll just be a piece at an angle like this coming up. So instead of being straight across this way, I'm gonna bring it in this way as much as we can. I might even bring it in a little further actually. I think I can. And then it'll go up to it and shoot across and that'll give us our room for our transmission. Then after we flip the cab, we'll, we'll cut all this extra out for everything to give us as much access as we can and clean it up. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're gonna cut and fabricate the back back there to match the arch of the original floor back there. And then I think the only thing we have left to fabricate for the floor in here is going to be these corner pieces here. And there's still a lot of welding in these to do. So we've got quite a bit of welding. So as soon as we get that fabricated, get that screwed down, get that back cut, we're gonna weld it all together. But the fabrication process takes some time. This piece was easy, you know, that was basically offset, offset, and flat across. And, but this one, we're, we're pinching everything down to this point here, and then we had to put some bulges in for the transmission mount on that. We gave some nice eyes for, here, we gave some nice eyes for something. Right there. Oh, I can't do this upside down. Do a little, little eye in there. Maybe we should paint those on like that. <laughs> How did I do? I can't even see it. It looks uh, kind of like a little sloppy. Yeah. It also looks kind of like a frog Lego eye. Oh, okay. I need to mark this back here so that I can get this thing. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it in a whole bunch of little pieces and work it down because it's 10 gauge steel. This is literally the same stuff that they make gun safes out of. So, I mean, I don't know, cold rolled, hot rolled, whatever, but 10 gauge steel, same thickness of steel. So, works good on the bottom of the gun safe. Um, but it makes it difficult to bend over. So we're going to, I'm gonna figure out how to mark it. I also realize there's an edge back there I need to clean up a little bit. And then we're going to cut this in a whole bunch of little pieces and then bend it back over. And there'll be some areas like this I'm gonna to have to cut down, so I gotta measure that as well.
start. It's so hard. Why is it focused on my face? It's so hard. Tegan, help. I'm starting it up, okay? Alright? I'm resting it. I'm rest, starting it up, resting it on that point. And then it's pulling itself, and I can rest it against it. I can use one hand, okay? Alright, then what I do is I watch the blade, alright? I'm watching, you ignore her. I'm watching the bottom. Make sure it stays flat on there. See, like this, okay? Because if I go off at an angle, it's going to cut over that way, all right? So then I let the weight of it do it, and then I roll it underneath, get that cut, and then I pull it out while it's still running, okay? Start that, try that. You got to line it up. Don't stop, okay? Does it feel accomplished though? Eh, sorta. Of. Big black spot on your nose. Wipe it off a little more. Okay. Good job, buddy. Yep. You can get it. Ouch. Oh, that one's gotta be done. What? Yep. <laughs> Good job. You'll get it. Alright, well this is done and ready as far as we can get it. And it's going to go into the truck as soon as Tegan's done and we blow it out. We're going to weld this thing, well, screw it back into place and start our welds. We have almost completely completed the welding and the fabrication of the gun safe. Uh, I even got, grabbed the hinges for the door and hopefully we will be cutting the door for this and welding that thing in place. Well, I'm gonna put that off a little bit. We'll finish the welding on this. That way the floor will be completed. And then we've got this almost completely welded in. This is all welded up. It needs some grinding and cleaning. I've waited to weld that little spot right there. Just trying to decide if that's really what I want for sure or not. I've got some more reinforcement across that firewall to do, but we are almost there. And we've been working on these mounts. But most of all, what I'm working on at the moment, this is kind of a huge hurdle that's been bugging me, is my steering. This thing has a huge box on this thing. This is giant. So what I did was I took a, well, we've got this weird angle piece here, okay? So what happens is this sits it, and so it sits forward for a cab over. I need it back for a regular cab. So it's completely at the wrong angle every, in every which way. So we're gonna turn that thing back. In order to do it, we have this huge block of aluminum. It's actually just had it cut down already. It was like three inches thicker. So we had them slice it this way. 
I'm going to machine a block out of this to remount the steering gearbox on this truck because it is not how I want it and it won't work. So if I put the gearbox back on with that bracket, the thing comes up at an angle like this. I need it back at that angle. So hopefully that's what I'm working on and hopefully we'll be doing all the machining, have it done for the next one, or at least we'll be working on it, trying. All right, so realized I never really finished up and uh, included the loafing shed being done on the other video. So there it is right there. There's a couple of our cows. They were laying in it just a minute ago till I came walking up and they're really enjoying it. So there's a conclusion of that one on the wrong videos. <laughs> Thanks everyone.